Hello witches, wizards and those who are yet to receive their Hogwarts school letters, welcome to my Harry Potter kitchen. This is a YouTube series where I'm baking my way through the Harry Potter books, making recipes for all of the food and drink that we find inside. If you missed last week's recipe where we created a delicious French onion soup with lightning bolt croutons, then make sure you check out the link down below in the description to catch up. And if you're new to the kitchen and you want to see more, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and click on the notification bell, then you'll get an alert every Magic Monday when there's a brand new recipe. Speaking of which, it's time for that recipe, so let's get to it. Okay, so let's head back into chapter 11, the dueling club, to see what's next. Okay, so it's now the second week of December and Harry, Ron and Hermione have decided to stay at Hogwarts over Christmas. That is the perfect time for them to brew their Polyjuice potion, but they're going to need some ingredients from Snape's private storeroom. So they hatch a plan to cause a bit of a distraction in their next potions class. So I can see that Harry has got some Fred's filibuster fireworks, thrown them into Gwyl's cauldron, which has exploded and covered the whole class, including Malfoy, whose nose has swelled, and I can see our next recipe there. Harry tried not to laugh as he watched Malfoy hurry forward, his head drooping with the weight of a nose like a small melon. Sorry, Malfoy, at least you'll get a nice dessert out of it. If you'd like to recreate this magical melon and mint sorbet, then all of the ingredients, measurements, and instructions are up on my website, bradleybakes.co.uk. The link is down below in the description. So today we have the challenge of using melon in our recipe and I thought for quite a while about what to do for this one and landed on sorbet. Now we've made ice cream quite a few times in the series so far with our butterbeer ice cream and our lightning bolt ice cream blocks but sorbet is a slightly different frozen dessert and it uses a lot of fruit so I guess it's healthier for you and that means we can have twice as much. I'm also going to make this with a different method in an ice cream machine. I've got a bowl attachment for my KitchenAid but you can also get these as standalone mixers and they have a liquid centre inside. So that's going to freeze. We're going to freeze this about 15 hours before we use it. Then as we churn our sorbet, it's going to make lots of little ice crystals in there. So when you eat it, it will magically melt in your mouth. Now, if you don't have an ice cream machine, you can do this in some Tupperware and fork that through every now and again. You will get slightly larger crystals though, so it'll be more like a granita, but it will taste just as good. So I'm going to pop this into the freezer. And then we're also going to make our syrup, which will let cool before we pop it into our machine. Place your ice cream machine bowl into the freezer for at least 15 hours to make sure that that liquid center has enough time to freeze through. In the meantime, you can prepare your melon syrup, which is gonna be the base for our melon and mint sorbet. First, I'm gonna prepare the melon by cutting it in half and scooping out all of the seeds and string from the middle. I'm then gonna score some lines horizontally and vertically and then scoop out my melon chunks. In a pan on a medium heat, I'm then gonna add in my sugar, water, honey, and my melon, and then stir that through. As it begins to heat, I'm also grating the rind off my lime, cutting those in half and squeezing out the juice. You want to add this into your syrup along with some mint, you can also tailor how much mint you use, depending on how strong you like the flavour. Once your syrup is ready, you want to turn off the heat and leave it for about five minutes or so, so the melon and mint can fully infuse. Once it's slightly cooler, we're then gonna blend this together to get as much melon in as possible. Carefully pour it into your food processor or blender, place the lid on top and then blitz it through. To make sure I get a nice smooth sorbet consistency, I'm then gonna pour this through a sieve, pressing it through so we only get the pure juice. To get the best effect, you want to make sure that your syrup is nice and cold before you pour it into your ice cream machine. So I'm gonna bottle this up and then place it into the fridge until I'm ready to use it. Okay, 
So our syrup is cold and our ice cream machine is completely frozen. So now it's time to move on to churning our sorbet. And it's that slow and steady process that is gonna give us the most melt in the mouth sorbet you've ever had. And as I mentioned before, if you don't have an ice cream machine, then you want to pop it in some Tupperware, whisk it up every half an hour to an hour, and then pop it back into the freezer until it gets nice and firm. For this one, we're gonna let it go for about 20 minutes. And then you have a choice. Either you can serve it straight away if you like a softer sorbet or like me, if you like it a bit firmer, you can pop it into the freezer. Don't worry, it will still keep that lovely consistency, but you'll be able to scoop it a bit more. If you're using the kitchen aid attachment, you want to add the connector on top and place your paddle into your bowl. I'm then going to lock the base into place before lowering the lid. Turn the KitchenAid onto the slow stir speed and then carefully pour in your cold melon syrup. You should notice it frosts up pretty quickly, but we're going to carry on going for about 20 minutes to half an hour and you'll start to see it really thicken up. Once the paddle starts catching, that's how you know it's ready so you can stop stirring and lift up the lid. Scrape down the sides using a silicone spatula. You don't want to use any metal, otherwise you'll damage the inside of the ice cream roll. If you're going for the firmer texture, you can then scoop that into some Tupperware or your ice cream tub and I'm going to pop that into the freezer for about an hour. I like to serve my melon and mint sorbet with a little extra garnish of mint, so I'm going to finely chop up some leaves. The easiest way to do this is bunch them together and then work your knife across. All that's left to do is pop them into your serving dish of choice. I've got some nice glasses, but a cool idea is also to keep the outside of your melon as that is the perfect biodegradable dish. Scoop in your sorbet, sprinkle over your mint, and then this magical melon and mint sorbet is good to go. So there you have it, that's our magical melt in the mouth melon and mint sorbet complete. It's such an easy sorbet recipe, but it tastes incredible. So let me know down below in the comments if you're gonna give this one a go. <laughs> that's all for this week's recipe, but if you want to see more from my Harry Potter kitchen, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and click on the notification bell so you get an alert every Magic Monday when there's a brand new recipe. It's sorbet time for me, so I'll see you next week. Has to be the melon for me. Mmm, so refreshing.